Well, hello again, friends. Will Davis Jr. here from Estes Park, Colorado. This is a 120-year-old cabin, uh, actually, that my family owned and I inherited. And Teddy Roosevelt once stayed here. It's a pretty cool place. I'll give you a tour sometime. Anyway, um, I'm suffering, as you can tell. Greetings. This is Good News Today. And my name is Will Davis Jr. Please send all cards, comments, and questions to Senior Pastor, SRPastor at acfellowship.org. Okay, um, we're walking through this really, uh, I would say, tall grass. I'm going to say deep snow because of what's going on outside. Um, in Genesis chapter 3, let me read verse 17 to you. Then to Adam, he said, this is God after talking to the serpent, a.k.a. Satan, and then talking to Eve. Now he turns his attention to Adam, and Adam gets the full weight of his anger and judgment and just justice. To Adam, he said, because you have listened to the voice of your wife and have eaten from the tree about which I commanded you, saying you shall not eat from it, cursed is the ground because of you. So in the judgments handed down to Eve and Adam both dealt directly with their assignments and one of their great joys in life. One of the great joys in life of being a mama is giving birth and bringing a new human being into the world. And God greatly complicated that, or the consequences of Adam's seed, Adam's, excuse me, of Eve's sin, was that was greatly complicated. And it came in, in pain and death. There's death in childbirth. It's very serious stuff. The same is here true for Adam. He was given dominion over the land, and the land was his partner. And he was able to harvest it and do beautiful things with it, and now it's his enemy. So the very identity of what these human beings were partly about gets attacked in the condemnation that comes from sin. Now let's deal with this pesky little phrase, because you listen to the voice of your wife. And notice that she's called his wife. God is big on marriage. Um, this is not a prohibition for men to listen to women, against men listening to women. This is not what's going on. This is not... Um, Women have nothing to say, and men shouldn't listen to women, and women should rule over men, which we talked earlier was about the curse and not how God designed things. The, 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 the sense is because you listen to your wife over and against listening to God, because it was in, they were in conflict. Uh, God had placed Adam in authority in that garden. He'd given him the instructions first. And either God or Adam gave Eve the instructions about all the trees you can eat from, but don't eat from this one. And Adam knew that to be a law, and to be the word. Notice that um, Eve was deceived by the devil. Adam was not. Doesn't say he was deceived. He just made a choice. Adam's choice was to listen to the conventional wisdom offered up by his wife because she'd been deceived by Satan and not stick with the word of God that he knew. That was his choice. He chose to go. He chose to watch his wife be deceived and then agree with that deception in taking of the fruit instead of standing on the word of God. And because of that, the ground that he'd been given authority over was cursed. Yikes. <laughs> Everybody say yikes. Serious, serious stuff. So it wasn't his sin for listening to his wife. The sin was listening to his wife when she was contradicting the word of God. And friends, that's true of any person in your life. Because sometimes the people in your life who are speaking things to you or speaking things against the word of God, they've been deceived by the devil, as Eve was. She was deceived, and she's saying, this is okay, look, we, it's beautiful. Do you hear what he said? God's holding withholding from us. And Adam chose to let that stand as opposed to resisting it with the authority God had given him and more importantly with the word of God. That's serious stuff. And as a result of it, the ground was cursed and the Genesis 3 reality was unleashed on the planet. And we're all still dealing with it today. Wow. All right, tomorrow we'll get into the actual cursed as the ground because of you and what that means. We're going to walk through this together. Thank God for the redemption plan that comes in Jesus Christ, right? Yay. Lord, thank you for this time. Bless my readers and listeners today in Jesus' name. Forgive us for listening to people who have been deceived by the enemy, well-intending though they may be. 
and not standing on your word. Give us the courage to do so. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow.